Beautiful Essentials here. So this is a requested video for a portable minimalist closet using empty boxes. So these are the boxes that I will be using to make the closet. And I'll be making use of one large empty box to cut out pieces that I'll use to fortify the smaller boxes. Like the sides of this box is going to be covered with pieces that I'll cut out from this large box. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Before I glue this on, I'll cut out all of the flaps from the box. I also glue the inner flaps to keep them in place. I'll be using school glue and a hot glue gun to glue both pieces together. I cover the bottom. And all the other sides as well. I later decided to add a partition in the middle. What I'm working on now is going to be at the top of the closet. And then these two empty boxes that I have covered here will be at the bottom. And then in between them will be a longer box and I'll be covering the top as well. I use these three boxes to make sure that the size is as wide as the box that I'll be using at the top. Now all three boxes will be glued together. Because I didn't have a deeper box for the sides, these flaps are going to be an issue. So I'm going to use boards that I cut out to glue on there to make them strong. I'm also going to be gluing a long cutout that's going to fit at the bottom to hold all three boxes together. I would like to make the box at the top a little bit stronger, so I'll be using school glue and water, mixing it together and then put in little pieces of paper that I have cut out, dip them into the mixture one at a time and cover the whole box. I did this for just the box at the top and let it out to dry for about two hours. And then the three boxes that will be at the bottom, I just used tape to cover up all of the edges. I painted all of the boxes white. And there was an issue because the paint that I used is a white Brazilian oil paint. It's oil based and that was a big problem for me because even if it was all shiny, it didn't work well with the boxes and it was showing too much imperfections and I wasn't really happy with the result at all. But I was just trying the oil based paint to see if it was going to work. But acrylic paints would have been much better to use on the boxes. So I guess oil-based paints work better on wood. Now the inside of all of the boxes are going to be covered with cutouts from a foam board. For this portable closet design, I'll be using these large wooden dolls that I got from Walmart and I'll be painting all of them black. Now 
I painted all of the dolls black because I will be covering up all the top parts of the boxes with black marble contact paper. And the link for this contact paper is going to be in the description box below. I cut off the excess at the back and I also covered the top of the box that's going to be at the top of the design with marble contact paper as well. Remember that down here are three boards glued together and this is going to make it much better to make the dowels stay in place. Now I'm going to be pre-drilling holes into the dowels to make it easy to attach the dowels to the board using screws. This is how all of the dolls are going to be attached. Now the bottom part was tricky because I was limited with space for my hand. So I had to remove this part of my screwdriver and just put the screw in to a reasonable length. And when it was a little bit okay for my drill gun to go in, I used my drill gun to complete it. When I was done with the top, I measured and made sure that the dolls are straight before attaching them to the boxes at the bottom. Now that the closet is coming together, what's really going to make it strong and sturdy are this wood pieces that I got from outside. It was thrown away by someone, but then I put them to good use, I cleaned them up, and then attach them to the back of the design using screws. I painted both wood pieces black. Now to make provision for hanging clothes, I'll be using this curtain bra that I got from Walmart. This is how it's supposed to be attached to the wall. But what I'm going to do is attach them upward. The screws that they put at the back are fasteners to make sure that the rod stays in place. So that's what I'm going to be using to make sure that the rod stays in place in the closet. I got these wood pieces that come in a pack from Walmart. I'll paint them white and pre-drill holes on them to make it easy to attach them to the box and to also make it easy to attach the hardware that will be used to hold the rod. I got this ball trim from Walmart and I'll be using it to decorate the upper part of the box. When I was done with that, I used a little bit of white paint to cover up the black screw heads. When I was done, this is what the portable closet looks like. If you like, you can add a mirror at the top and I got this mirror from the Dollar Tree. Like I said earlier, the fastener at the back keeps the rod in place. The request was made for an open minimalist closet used in a small space, but if you like the design and you have more clothes, you can use more boxes and make it wider and remember to secure the back with more wood to make it sturdy and well balanced. I hope you like the idea of using empty boxes 
to make a portable closet. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other DIY videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.